Alright folks, it's Pitching Ace 88. We're on Criminal Case on Facebook. We're going to be going to case number 20. Two, zero. Let's unlock this and get to this next case. Pretty excited. Two more cases till we are done with this section. But first, as always, I need some friends. So I'm going to go ask for some friends for help and I'll be right back. Thank you, my friends. What is this one called? What dastardly thing has happened? A deadly game. Uh-oh. Lieutenant Ace, we just re received a package addressed to you. Did you hear that, Ace? People are sending us thank you gifts. I think I'm going to enjoy it. Open it, open it. Uh, oh dear goodness. This has nothing to do with a gift. This is a finger. I can't bear to look at it. Let's just send it to Nathan and let him deal with it. Look, there's also a note in the box. That's just a preview. You'll find some more pieces from my victim at the homeless camp next to the bridge. There's no victim without a killer. Lieutenant Ace, you've got a new case. Ace, let's go to that camp. Stir right away. <gasps> no! This this better not be 1-2 Sam. I'm going to be very bummed if it is. Very, very bummed. You better not have killed 1-2 Sam. I'm going to... I'm gonna do something drastic if that happened. Come on, anybody but him. Um, let's see. <sighs> Wooden box. I don't know where any of this stuff is. Tire. Backpack. Up here. Tire. Let's go to dirt pile, wooden box. Let's see. I don't see anything. Gosh darn it. Cut finger. Gosh darn it. I don't know where the heck this crap is. There's a wooden box. Oh my gosh. There's probably a lot of stuff here. It's unfortunate. I still don't see where that cut finger is. Okay, screw it. There. Tell me where it is. Good. That was the worst, uh... It was the worst for, uh, performance by me, by far. I will not hide that fact. Oh goodness, second finger. I guess it goes with the first finger that Psycho sent to us. And, am I crazy or is the finger pointing to that box over there? Uh, of course, the box is locked. You must... You know how much I hate it when stuff is locked up, don't you, Ace? It must be open. Look at this mound of earth. You're right, somebody has been digging. Let's have a closer look. Oh, this is just not looking good. But I'm really curious as to what this is in. So before the six hours, I'm going to go grab a couple stars and be right back. Okay, guys? All right, guys, let's examine some of this stuff. We've got a couple stars. Oh. Jeans. Great job, Ace. Whoever dug that hole in the homeless camp lost a button in the process. It's small, but I'm sure you'll be able to find something useful on it, won't you? That's kind of what I was actually hoping for. Um, I believe that, yeah, both of these things I'm going to have to examine it twice, which is why I got four stars. Um, but anyways, let's try and figure out what the code is for this. Six, five, six. Nice. Uh, three, two, eight, two, eight. There we go. Not too shabby. I knew it, I could count on you to open this box. Ace, I'm sure it wasn't left in the homeless camp by accident. Another letter, and there's a key, too. Wait, I don't get it. The paper's blank. There's nothing written on it. You're right, Ace. The killer must be playing with us again, but I'm sure you'll be able to discover what's written on the paper. Okay, I don't know who died, um, but I like this case already. This case is pretty cool. I like how it kind of makes me kind of want to keep coming back. Now, I, I, I do know that there's... Um, there's no way that, that they could do this on every case, but it's kind of, it's a really nice, fun change of pace. Oh my goodness. 278 Kennedy Road. And yet you managed to reveal the invisible message that was on it. Note says, well done, Lieutenant Ace. You found my note. Another piece of the puzzle is waiting for you at 278 Kennedy Road. Guessing the key that was with that note must open a door at the address. Uh, okay, yeah, that's extremely creepy. 
Let's examine this button. This is gonna be another, yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Clicked on that, you dummy. There we go. Well, that wasn't the best. That's for darn sure. Ace, can't believe you managed to find the DNA on a button. After all this time, you still managed to surprise me. Let's send it to Alex. I can't wait to know who lost that button in the homeless camp. That's right. That is right. So let's, uh... Oh, only 30 minutes. Cool. Let's, uh, investigate this creepy basement. Here we are, 278 Kennedy Row. That's the address the killer gave us in the note. Let's see if the key came that came with it opens the door. The key did open the door. But for Pete's sake, what is this place? Uh oh, is this is this like Dexter's place? I'm just kidding. This place is too clean. Oh my goodness. This is a messed up this is like a this is a torture chamber. Holy crap. This is creepy. Extremely creepy. Oh my gosh, this is a welder's mask, a jarred finger. Oh my goodness. Where's the chain? There's a chain. Neck with a leash. This is just, this is messed up. Jerry can wheel. Dude, this is this is intense, man. I don't even know what to say about this. Yuck, I guess that's our victim's third finger, but this one's in a jar like jam. Let's send it to the lab for analysis. We need to know who came in this room. This leash might help us, but what I, I can't read what's engraved on it. Can you have a look, Ace? I can do my best, man. Alright, let's start this as well. And I'll actually probably be back here in 30 minutes, this guys. See you in a bit. But. So after some time, let's figure out where all these fingers are. Ace, you sure get weird gifts in the mail. I had a look at the finger. The tissue shown that it was cut while the victim was still alive. Whoever this finger belongs to, they didn't die an easy death. I also found grains of caviar on the finger and under the nail. Uh, was eating caviar part of the torture? In a way, the killer must have used the finger as a caviar spoon. Ugh. Ace, hey, so next time I ask Nathan for details, please tell me to just shut up. I guess at least we now know that our killer eats caviar. I just wish I didn't know why we know it. It's kind of disgusting. Not gonna lie, kind of disgusting. I had a look at the DNA you found on the button left on the homeless camp, Ace. I ran the DNA in our database, and the guy you're looking for is a certain Lenny Adams. The reason he's in our files is because he just did three years in prison for the torture and sequestration of his wife. Lovely fellow. Exactly the kind of guy who might enjoy cutting up fingers, don't you think, Case? Since he's free now, we should definitely go have a chat with this Lenny. Uh, yeah, I think we should. What about finger number three? Did a quick DNA comparison between the finger you received at and the finger you found in the torture room, they both belong to the same person, no doubt about it. So I had a look at the contents of the jar the finger was in, I'm happy to announce the liquid inside it is formal, which is widely used by experts to preserve organic tissues. Which means our killer uses formal. Thanks, Ed Grace. That doesn't mean anything. We don't even have, like, a killer. Like, we don't even have suspects, really, except for this Lenny Adams fella. Mr. Adams, Lieutenant Ace was wondering how your button may have ended up in the same place we found a human finger. Care to enlighten us? A finger? Dude, relax. How the heck would I know? We know about your little prison stint, Lenny. Torturing people is right up your alley, isn't it? I didn't torture my wife. I just wanted to protect her. People got it all wrong. I'm sure they did. So why did you dig in the homeless camp? What were you trying to find or to hide? Oh, all right. Look, a cellmate in prison told me about some gold bars buried in that camp. I'm broke. I just want to take my share, that's all. That actually seems fairly plausible. Alright, 
this, this leash has got to have something on it. Um, nope. Nope. Jezebel. So let's see what's written on the leash you found in the torture room. The property of Jezebella. You know, I heard a certain Jezebella owns a fetish club in town. The rumor says that she hosts animated torture parties. Ace, please don't ask me how I know that. We'll discuss it another day. It's a lead. Isn't that what matters? Anyway, I believe a little talk with Jezebella is in order, don't you? Now that sounds like someone who could who could at least point us in the right direction. I don't think she'll be I don't think she'd be the one, but she could at least point us in the direction. Jezebella, can you explain to Lieutenant Ace how your leash ended up in a torture room connected to a criminal investigation? Mistress Jezebel, if you please. I have no idea who you're talking about. I own a club for adults who enjoy a little domination, but they are not murderers. As for the necklace, it's quite obviously not mine. Come on, property of Jezebel is written on it. Clear as day. Which means it belonged to my devoted vassal, Cherry Doll. She is my property, not the leash. Oh... Of course, I guess to you, Sherry would be Harper McAllister. I'm warning you, though, the girl might seem a little d bit disturbed. Yeah. This Harper McAllister was the one wearing the leash. It means that she went to the torture room. We need to talk to her. Yes, we do. I'm going through stars like a mofo in this one. Miss McAllister, or should I say Cherry Doll, I believe this is this necklace belongs to you. Oh, you found it. I was really scared of Mistress Jezebel finding out I had lost it. She wouldn't be pleased at all. I lost the leash a week ago. I thought I left it at the psychiatric hospital. Psychiatric hospital? What were you there for? Oh, nothing really. They say I have psychotic disorders just because I couldn't resist biting that young doctor that one time. But I'm better now. I only go there twice a week. Dang, Ace, I understand what Jezebel meant. Harper freaked me out so badly that I forgot to ask her about the murder. On the other hand, I doubt we could get a coherent answer out of her. We'll try again later. I, I just hope she won't bite. There you are, Lieutenant Ace. I've got good news. I finally found the victim's name. Nathan gave me the three fingers you collected. I ran the fingerprints into our database. The fingerprints all match the same person. Ace, your victim's name is Steve Wood. Steve was a traitor who got sent to prison for misappropriation. When he came out, he basically didn't have a life to go back to, and he ended up living in that homeless camp. Sorry to interrupt, Ace, but a new letter was just dropped in our mailbox. Wait, Ace, are you sure you want to open it? Um, I feel like I kind of have to. But anyways, we are going to go unlock Chapter 2 in the next part. This is Pitching Ace 88, over and out.